Okay. Do 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 science. 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 Do 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 science. Do 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 science. Do 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 do. You done? Done. Hey guys, hope you're still doing well. Um, today we are going to be going over your potential energy practice problems. Um, these are really similar to what we've been doing, but they are a four variable triangle. Um, so I'll be explaining how to use that. And um, yeah, um, just to show you what I'm looking at on the calendar, we are doing this um, April 15th work here. Oh, you can't really see my cursor. Well, you know, we're doing this. That stuff. Um, so. Hopefully you guys were able to find this. I shared this with you on Google Drive. Um, as always, um, with the math stuff, I would like you, I'd prefer you guys print this out and show me your work um, and, you know, get me a picture back. If you cannot print it out, please, please, please um, be filling it out on a separate piece of paper and then getting that back to me that way. Um, this is what your worksheet looks like. This is what was shared with you. Um, so I'm going to work through, I gave, sorry, I'm getting a little scattered here. Um, I've gave you the triangle already and I gave you an initial starting point of potential energy equals mass times our gravity constant times height. Um, and so I'm just going to draw that out, that triangle out for you as I go through these example problems. Um, so give me a second here. My computer's being, I'm not used to two screens. Okay, so maybe I can move me too. Ooh, ooh, I'll be over here at the calculator. How schnazzy is that? All right, so um, just to copy down that, let me see if I can get that all in here. So at the top is PE, and again, that PE stands for potential energy. Um, then over on, you can fill this out in any order, but over on the side, I had mass which we will be reporting in kilograms. Um, and then in the center, I had gravity. Again, these don't matter the order on the bottom as long as they're on the bottom. And this is what is new to us. Gravity is going to be a constant. Um, what I mean by that is I might not talk about gravity in the problem, but you need to assume that gravity is at play. It's always at play, it's gonna be there. Um, so whether or not I talk about it in the word problem, you need to account for gravity. And the number that you will be using is 9.8 uh, meters per second squared. And so what you'll be putting in your calculator is that 9.8 piece. And then finally, you have your height, which if you haven't guessed it, will be in meters. Um, so that is what your... Um, triangle looks like. Oh, one more thing. Uh, potential energy is going to be listed in joules or J. So if you see that abbreviation, that is referring to your potential energy piece there. So just looking at your first problem, um, just to go back over here, um, your first problem says, please show your work, but it says the world record for pole vaulting is 6.15 meters. If the pole vaulter's potential energy is 4,942 joules, what is his mass? Let me go back over to my camera here. Cool. So um, what I like to do is list out each um, variable. So we have potential energy, mass, gravity will always be the same, but I will list it, and height. And I just want to know what information they give us in the problem. So if I look back, it tells me that the um, world record for pole vaulting is 6.15 meters. And so that is going to be, since it's in meters, I know that that is our height. And so I'm going to record that as 6.15 meters for height. As I said, I already know gravity. It's always going to be 9.8 meters per second squared. And it tells me if the pole vaulter's potential energy is 4,942 joules, what is his mass? 
That means I don't know his mass. That is my X. And our potential energy is 4,942 joules. So after I have all of my variables and I have pulled those out of the word problem, what I can do is I know that I'm solving for mass. I'm solving for X here. I'm gonna grab a different color pen just for funsies. Um, and so I'm gonna cover up, I don't know what's gonna look nice. I'm gonna cover up that variable on my triangle. So in this case, I'm looking for mass, so I will cover up my mass. And it tells me that everything up top is going to be divided by everything on the bottom. And um, when you're on, because we have this extra variable here, I actually need to multiply my bottom pieces first. So what I need to do is multiply these together. So my first, if I want to write this out, I have 4,942 joules divided by, that's what this line means, so we're dividing that. And I have my gravity piece of 9.8 meters per second squared, and I'm going to multiply that by my height of 6.15 meters. So that's my initial setup for solving the problem. Um, but before I can divide these, I need to know what this answer is on the bottom. So I'm going to calculate that first, and I'll rewrite my triangle. So I'm just taking 9.8, multiplying by 6.15. So now my new equation is going to be 4,942 divided by 60.27. And now that this is simplified, I can solve that. And I get an answer of 81.99. And again, I'm solving for mass. So I'm going to look back up and see what my label is for mass. In this case, it's kilograms. Come on, come on. There we go. Um, you guys have about seven problems to fill out. Um, again, I like to go through step by step and fill out each variable that I give you, figure out what you're solving for, or what information I don't give you, keeping in mind I'm never gonna talk about gravity. You always assume gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared, um, and then you should be able to solve based on your triangle. Um, if you need help with any of this, or this isn't making sense, please, please, please email me, as always. Um, otherwise, later in the week, we're gonna be doing the same thing with Kinetic energy. Toodles. Do 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 science. 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 Do 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 science.